I have never worked out of that coffee shop before. I went there once before to get an iced matcha, which was good. And my favorite coffee shop to work out is actually closed on Sundays, so I couldn't go there today. So I was like, oh, I'll just go back here and I'll actually work here. Not my favorite work environment in terms of coffee shops. The seating, it was very crowded today, so I didn't really find a good spot. I mean, I was tucked in a corner, which kind of worked for vlogging, but the seats and stuff are so uncomfortable. <laughs> so my butt honestly hurts right now, which is pretty hilarious, but I did get some good work done. Whew. I feel like we've been vlogging a lot in the car recently, huh? Honestly, this just like is such a quiet, peaceful place for me because my house is just <laughs> my house, you know? So today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my vlogging strategy and how I've changed it recently. It was really ever since I traveled abroad. I feel like I bring this up in almost every single video. That trip really, really helped me to feel re-inspired with my content. It was being in a different environment, having an actual break from work because I really don't take a lot of breaks from work and seeing other creators do their thing, it inspired me to do my thing better than how I've been doing it. I very much so got into a set routine and I was super comfortable with just like picking up my camera and for lack of a better word, just like doing the bare minimum. Like I honestly felt like for a while there I was doing the bare minimum because I was so overwhelmed. And when it comes to like creating the content around the house, I wasn't really setting up shots and like thinking about making a super, super interesting video. I was like, well, this stuff just needs to get done. Let me just like put my camera in one spot and like get it done. And there were some videos that I had fun with it and like moving the camera around and stuff. But a lot of other videos, it was like, my main priority is doing the thing, not vlogging. And I think I missed a real opportunity to make some like really, really cool videos there. So for the last bit here, I have been trying to change my strategy. I mean, I have changed my strategy, but I've just been like trying to put in far more effort into my YouTube videos in terms of the shots that I've been getting. And I want to like share what I've been doing with you guys because maybe you'll find this helpful like if you're a creator yourself maybe this will be like ah that could work for me and then I can create better YouTube videos that's kind of my thought I got myself a margarita I usually do the jalapeno but for some reason I was feeling something a little bit sweeter today so I got the cucumber it's good so let's talk a little bit about strategy before my food arrives here my vlogging strategy, I actually piggybacked off of Sarah's day. Sarah's day used to upload videos every three days and she explained it in, I don't know if it was a podcast episode or like maybe it was one of her videos, maybe it was her Instagram stories, I'm not sure. But she said that she vlogged on one day and then she took two days to edit and upload and then she would vlog again, take two days to edit and upload and that was her cycle that she would repeat over and over again. And that was something that I used to do. Like I would not vlog, like specifically for my vlog channel when I had that, I wouldn't vlog unless I had the previous video already edited and uploaded. And then I kind of lost track of that strategy, especially with the house. It's just been a lot to manage everything that I have going on. So it was like every single day I felt like I was doing everything. So like I was working on the house, I was taking personal time, I was working on my computer, I was vlogging. Like everything got put into every single day and I was obviously so overwhelmed from that. So when I got back from my trip, I was like, okay, my strategy needs to change. I want to create better videos. I want to spend more time getting shots and like thinking through telling a story and even like if I'm doing something I want to focus on the vlog not necessarily me doing it so it's like to film a really really great vlog the vlogs that I personally like to watch you're gonna have to do things multiple times even walking scenes like the camera starts in one room but then it's magically in another and then like I walk through like it doesn't make sense when you're filming it but it makes sense in the editing process hold on hi <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay, do you have a YouTube Thank channel? Thank you. Yeah, I do. Oh, really? What is it? Yeah, it's Catherine Manning. It's my Catherine name. Manning. Oh, Thank God. you so much. Ooh, I usually get corn tacos with shrimp, or I will get the burrito bowl with shrimp. Today I felt like doing something different, just like the margarita. So I got ground beef today. 
There's not nearly enough lettuce in here for me, but that's that's okay. We'll make this work. Wow, the green, ground beef is fabulous. Oh my gosh. And to allow myself to get those better shots, what I'm doing now is I have dedicated specific days to vlogging, specific days to the computer work, to editing, and specific days to housework. And sometimes like the housework and the vlogging overlaps, but when it overlaps, the primary goal is the vlog. So like I'm trying to get better shots of me doing the housework instead of just like powering through all of the housework. And it's really been working for me. I've been having a lot more fun with my YouTube videos because I'm like, this is my primary goal for the whole entire day. Like this is all I have to do. And it's been making it so much easier. I think just that like mindset shift. I will not lie to you guys. It has been a couple of hours. I ended up getting back here. I was dealing with some house stuff and I was just incredibly tired. I haven't slept great the past two nights, so I was like, let me take a nap. So my bed is a little unmade because I took a nap with this sweet little thing <laughs> sitting on the ground right here. But I wanna to talk to you guys about how I've been setting up these shots, okay? And like show you a real behind the scenes of what it looks like when I'm filming my vlogs and like what I'm really thinking about. So this segment of the video is sponsored by Nikon. As you guys know, I only use the Nikon Z30 to film my content. Like this is the camera that I use. I'm currently filming on one right now. Who's ready for a little tutorial? As everyone is complaining this time of year, yeah, I know it's dark outside, super, super early, and the light is just gone on me, so I need to film in rooms that have light, and I don't think I've got a super great example in this room. You know what I can do? Here's what we can do. Okay, so I actually need to take a shower. Like, I want this to be as accurate as possible, like a real vlog for you guys. So let's think through some shots that I could get in terms of taking a shower. Now, obviously, I do not film me taking a shower, but I usually include me like turning on the water, moving my towel, like opening the shower curtain. Sometimes I have like my clothes dropping on the floor. Like you'll see like my foot lift up and in the shower. Think about all of the little steps that goes into doing something. So if you're leaving the house, it's like grabbing your keys, grabbing your purse, putting on your shoes, opening up the door, closing the door, getting in your car. You guys see me do those shots a lot. Break down your daily tasks. So like the things that you're including in, in your vlog in little segments and move your camera around. So let me, let's like get this party started, right? Yeah. First things first, I'm gonna turn on my lights in here because if I was to turn off my lights, the camera settings that I have working right now, actually that's not, well, it's because I've kind of light on out there. Let me actually go to just a natural sunlight room. Here you go. This is how it would look if there weren't any lights on right now. Because I have got my camera currently set to my U2 settings. So my U1 settings are for daylight, and I believe it's around 4,400 in terms of like the K, like the te color temperature, 4,400 for my like light bulbs in my house, I use 2500. So that is what U2 is saved to. So that's why this looks not great until I actually, like I've got my entryway light on right now, but if I turn on these lights, then that looks closer to my skin tone and more so accurate to what this room would be. Let me actually switch it. This is then my U1 settings. It's pretty crazy, but honestly, one of the things I love about this camera so much that I talk about in every single sponsored segment I do with them is that I use U1, U2. It makes my life so easy because I don't have to keep going in there and then like changing, being like, these are the settings that I want now. Oh, now these are the settings I want now. No, you just like spin the dial once and it makes my life so easy. I'm so sorry that we are just operating off this terrible lighting. For this scene, I am most definitely going to need a tall tripod. I currently have a small tripod on this camera right now. That's incredibly easy for vlogging. It's nice because then like if you're ready to set your camera down, you can set it down and it adds like a little bit of height. But if I'm getting these B-roll shots, I have really been using my tall tripod recently because then I can customize the height and like the exact placement of the camera. So what I think I'm going to do is include a shot of me like walking out of the bedroom and then walking in here. So this is going to require me to move my camera into two different spots. One is going to be relatively like this angle. And then I think another one is going to be this angle I will let me let me hold on let me like walk you let me walk you through this you guys that seems about perfect flip the camera I want to show you guys action wise what I'm doing in this shot because what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat my steps 
completely. So I did that one walking out. I'm going to re-walk out as I turn in here. I'm going to grab the towel and then ultimately I'm going to end up putting the towel back because I want a different shot of me grabbing the towel as well. But for the transition, for the editing, you guys may have noticed I did this recently in a video where there was a shot. The camera was over here. I was pulling open a drawer and then the camera was above as I was like finishing pulling open that drawer type thing. I wanted it to be a very seamless transition as if there was like two cameras going at once. So that's something I always think about is like, okay, what is the next step I'm going to be doing that's going to flow right into the next shot so it's not just like chop, 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 chop. So let me reshoot that. Another thing to remember, which is so incredibly tiny, but it's like filmmaking at its finest, you guys. Remember what hand you use to do things. Remember how your hair was positioned. Remember how like your sleeves and stuff were. If you go in with like your right hand in one shot and then you're trying to do a transition where you move the camera and then you're refilming the scene and then it's your left hand, Honestly, not a lot of people will probably notice, but like I notice, so pay attention to that. Now I currently have a lot of shots with like my camera on something and it's watching me do it. It's not my perspective of me doing it. So I'm gonna switch the camera as if like you were actually me and seeing what I was seeing. That is already four different angles, four different shots. I am going to move my tripod in here and as one whole shot, I'm gonna show me opening up the shower curtain and turning on the water and closing the shower curtain. I don't think that needs to be broken down as much. If you break down it too much, you guys, it's like it's way, it's way too jumpy. So you gotta decide like what is important to break down and like what flows the best compared to like what can you just like stay in one spot. Sometimes even like when you stay in one spot, you can just like crop in for a little bit of it and that would look nice, but I wanna let the eyes rest and walk through this next part with me. Slide through. This is gonna be open. What's gonna be included in the shot? That could actually work. One final shot I'm going to get is just of the water. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use this, but I would like to have it just in case. The thing is, since this bathroom isn't done, this is not like totally my vibe, my aesthetic. So I'm not, I'm not actually sure if I'm going to use that, but I'm actually going to hop in the shower now. my hair down because it was just a body shower but thank you so much to Nikon for sponsoring this video as you guys know I've been using the Nikon Z30 ever since I got it and I am truly obsessed with this camera I feel like it makes creating my content so easy with the U1 U2 settings like incredibly easy the quality in low light I know is something that I always bring up as well like I'm just constantly impressed with this camera it's ease of use the way that the, the front lens can snap down and this I can easily spin around in case I have to like throw it in my back seat when I'm running into a store and I'm not gonna vlog that spot and I don't want it like easily seen, you know? I don't want my camera stolen, okay? This is just like a very nice starter camera as well as like the more advanced you get on YouTube, you guys. Like I've been doing YouTube for years and I still love a camera like this. So definitely check out this camera. I'll include a link in the description bar down below. Like I said earlier, the primary goal for today was to film this video, was to vlog. So now that I'm nearing the end of this video, I'm like, oh, I can chill out a little. Yes, I did take a nap today, okay? I definitely took a nap, I definitely chilled out, but I'm thinking I ordered myself some sushi. How you guys feeling about sushi? I am eating both meals out of the house today, and you know what, I'm not mad about it, because I would actually love to get a little bit of editing done. Add bag. Order submitted. Yay, sushi! <laughs> Let me get my coconut aminos. This is gonna be delicious. I'm so excited. How many? So these have eight, this one has 10. So we gotta start over here. And there is something about sushi. I just freaking love it. But I'm currently reviewing the podcast episode that's gotta go live tomorrow, just like one last time listening through. I might do a little bit more editing tonight or I might honestly call it quits because tomorrow is going to be a primary editing day since today was a vlogging day. So that's gonna be it for this YouTube video. I hope you guys found it helpful just to like get like a little look inside my mind and like how I've been 
thinking through like my vlogging strategy and structuring my days, it's worked so well for me and I feel significantly less overwhelmed, which is honestly the primary goal. <laughs>